weekly roundup, Division 7 time. Great to be here at the Portland Hotel with my great mate, Darcy. No, Aussie, how are you? Where have you been? I've well, been missing you. I've been, I've been travelling with work. Hiding? Mate. No, I haven't been in hiding. I've actually um, been in Perth, I've been in Brisbane, I've been everywhere, mate, at the moment, so work's busy. Well, fine, I'll be able to get a word in on the show. That's probably the only good thing about it. But I have this show. <laughs> and you and Jacko, yes, Sean Jackson. Yes. You know <laughs> Picking on me the other week. Oh, you have to do that. Hey? Media, why get the truth and wait a good story? Well, you know, we could always get TJ back. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> they definitely won't get a word in. Miss you, big fella. Anyway, yeah, we do. we'll get straight into it. It was down at Crab Park. It was uh, Sullivan's Beach Longsdale, 23-24, 162 points. Defeating the Crabs, Smash Crabs, eight goals straight, 48. Wow. But, look at the Good. first I know quarter. you were going to say that. Yeah. First quarter, Flinders, Flinders New Day kicked five goals straight to O'Sullivan's Beach, one goal two. And Lynchy must have said to the boys then, Something. Hey, WTF, how you doing, fellas? And all of a sudden they come out and kick ten goals in the second quarter. Thank you. No, it's still two goals. They're only four goals down at half time, considering they're on the bottom and getting smashed every week. I reckon it's not they're a having a crack. They're absolutely. having a crack. Good on yep. two. Uh, for some of these, we had Rigney with six. Leverage with five, Lions with two, Conway, McIver, uh, both kicking two as well, and a few other blokes kicking singles. We're for the Crabs, mate? You have been away a long time, um, haven't you? Well, McNamara, Trinity McNamara beats and Cooper in the best. No, because we do read the individuals now, just to oh. give them a bit of, bit of, bit of promotion. We've changed Coming the from the bloke that wants to get out of here as quick as he can on a Monday <laughs> night, you want to draw it out. Okay, thought, okay. well, oh, sorry. Consider so, I was on a wing and kicked one guy my whole life, so I would like to... Hayes, out. Ross, Mason, Beats, McNamara and McIver all kicking singles. Are you happy now? It'd be easy for me, because now we've got Flinders yeah. University. Here we go. with three, yeah. Cochrane, Moyle, uh, Cochrane and Moyle with two, yeah. and the Muirhead, the individual there, with the best players... Um, Pardo, De Hussis, De Nis- Hus, yep. yeah, Nisky, Schofield, Haynes, and Cahorpin, and Perry with his three goals didn't get a mention of the best players. He didn't, eh? But, uh, Probably kicked them go. all in the first quarter. That's right. <laughs> More kids, exactly right. Okay, moving on. It was up at uh, Harpers Field the next game, and it was the, the, Derby. Ma- the Mountain Men, the Boomer Local yeah. Derby, the Mountain Men, Houghton District, 16 goals, 11, 107. Defeating Golden Grove, Cookaburras, 10 goals, 5, 65. Probably went to plan, mate. Oh, absolutely. Like, Howden District's there. Tell you, uh, Howden uh, are, the are, are the biggest letdown, I think, of this year. They, they start off terribly, oh. and they're just coming good. It's maybe the, well, the Mike, you know, I've said that. Keachy will be messaging me before I know it. But I thought Houghton, coming back down from six, they added to their list with the new coach, Matty Jones, coming from Bramble Lodge, bringing some boys with him. And they're struggling. And they are struggling, mm-hmm. but... Anyway, for uh, for Houghton, we had Anderson kicking seven, Kuha with three, Prazaka with two, singles two, Virtual Schultz, McMurtry and Rayson, with Rayson, Austin, McMurtry, Anderson and Schultz in the best for the Mountain Men. And for the Cooker Bar And the Cookers, we've got uh, Simmons with three, Morris with, also with three, Payne two, Ray and Lynn, individual yep. goal scorers. With the best players, McPhee, Tula, yep. McKay, Fitzgerald and Gusling. Tula, is that uh, one of... Um, Con from Comedy Company, is that one of his Oh, the Tula Sula 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 and Agapi. Agapi. And Agapi, that's it. So, and all for multiculturalism, here we are. So, how's this? We've got Golden mm. Grove, Houghton District, yep. Horse Lakes and St. Paul. It's all in a little, little this, patch there. They're in a little patch. This one here would have been an absolute humdinger. No love lost between these two clubs. I can tell you that right now because uh, Morton Lakes, which used to be the old St. Paul's, exactly. um, and St. Paul's reforming. It was a bit nastiness there, but it was then. It ended up being St. Paul's Old Scholars winning 12 goals, 16 88, defeating Mawson Lakes at home, 10 goals, 11 71. Um, it's boss going all right there, mate. They, they seem to be a bit of yeah, a surprise they're packet this year. Set their third, St. Yep. Paul's, so your old, old scorer, of course, Mawson Lakes. Yep. They're um, no, this in fifth there. Serta Bonum Sertalman. Yes, is it? That was on our coat of arms, on our blazers. Oh, yes. My PAC was fact 40 at Pouchery. So oh, I love that you're a PAC. Yeah, it's funny, you know, we're talking to our great friend from the Eagles, Luke Thompson. We had a bit of a laugh ah, about this. About I have a word with you, Luke, too, about this. <laughs> Don't worry, Tomo. And hopefully, hopefully next Monday night, we might have the great man coming oh, and joining oh, us. He's really afraid, Tom. Who have been saying about me? I'm well, not you're not here. here. No, I'm not here. Perfect opportunity uh, for me to get Tomo in, and it's going to be... The Darcy Evans Show. What did he say? I give nothing to the show. Yeah, he records. He sent me a text message. He said to me, you must get Darcy to bring more to the show because at the moment, he brings nothing. Mate, that cuts me, mate. 
Hey? Hey. One of the greatest men around, Luke Thompson. Hey, he is, he is. Anyway, for St. Paul's, we had Lucetto kicking four, Cullinan three, Nazruddin, Dimitru, Werfel, Adamo, and Moraska, sorry, all kicking singles with Lucetto, Adamo, Nazruddin, Werfel, and Formosa in the best. And for Mozzie's mate? Yeah, Mozzie's got Kent with two, um, Mendrin with two, Novesel. Novesel, yes. with two, Gor Ogorum, uh, she was. Di Diverston. Diverston. English with darts. I love well, it. You went to St. Paul's, so yep. you probably know these sort of players. Chow and I King. I coach there too. Really. Yeah, he <laughs> did too. One of the many yes. clubs. <laughs> and uh, the best players was Van der Brink, yep. Casey Kennett, Stanley and McMillan. And did Kennett get, oh, you did get the best players? He did. Lucky Kennett, great, great footballer and a, and a great man to boot. Another Sorry. team that you coached? Yes, mate. Rub it in, but uh, <laughs> hey, the Parkers seem to be gathering a little bit of, um, oh, you say you can say form, two two games in two weeks that they've been beaten by under a kick. Maybe not trying to Tuesday nights, yeah. he's doing them the world of good. It was uh, the units though, 10 goals, 9, 69, great number, defeating Mitchell Park, 9, 11, 65. Yeah. Um, Ooh, it's closer than I thought it would have been. Well, essentially not. If they're, they're equal fifth with Mawson Lane, yeah. so if they want to do something, they've got to be um, more than four points to a bottom side. So, yeah, but so yeah, they said Mitchell Park might be coming good at this time of year, but can't get relegated. It's not short there. <laughs> can't get relegated, but no, they're still fighting hard, which is good to see. So, for the units, we had Consenza kicking four, Porter with Tommy Porter with three, with Grogan, Wagner, and Moore all kicking single, single, singles. Singles? Singles. This is me. I'm getting. You're rubbing off on me. With uh, Cosy getting best, Hayes, McMillan, Silver, and Brian Gatto there in the best for the units, mate, and for the Parkers. The Parkers, yeah. Mate. McDonald with, uh, with two, yep. Whatmore with two, Weekly also with two, with Doldy, Helm, Halimi. Halimi. Cheese, his name is. Hal it is the cheese, yeah, it isn't is. it? And it's the, the cheese. Bellwood, all. yep. Individual goal scorers there with Trick, Weekly, Wolzak, Doldy, Hartman, and Clark. Hartman and Clark, sorry, in amongst the best players. Brandon so. Wolzak, captain, you know what his nickname is? No. <laughs> Ballsack. Ballsack. That's a great nickname. Do I ask and, why? And one of the because of Wolzack. 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 Oh, okay. hey, one of the best mullets going around as well. G'day there, big fella. Miss ya. All right, next game was uh, up at the Kuderinga Oval. Marion took the, probably one of the biggest treks, I suppose, one of the longest treks in uh, in ammo footy. It's, uh, no. Um, I saw the speech. Yeah, no, no, it's, yeah, okay, but. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fairly. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fairly. Yeah, Peter and Grove too. Yep. Is, uh, so anyway, it was the uh, the Marion Rams, 15 goals, 12, 102, defeating Tiffy Gully, 13, 5, 83. Pretty much the script for my liking. Uh, absolutely. Marion yeah. are going along very, very well. So for Marion, we had Saunders with four, O'Day kicking three, Wade and Robertson and Rasmus Fraser both all kicking two, with Hoffman and Heffernan. Jeez. Oh, Hoffman, Hoffman, Hoffman and Heffernan. Um, all kicking, both kicking singles with uh, Saunders, Smith, McCullum, Knight and Donnell all in the best players. And for the gullies, mate. Yeah, but Daniels with five, Forsman with two, obviously yep. X, A grade. And good Formosa. To see him. Yep. yep, Formosa. Clark, Santa Cop, uh, Agostino, Wicks, Crospech. Croach. Croach. Scotty Croach. Yeah, just yep. doing that. Coates, uh, individual goal scorers with Daniels, Coates. Wicks, Ford and Sandigo, he makes the best players. Rocky Sandigo. Do you know Dave Bartell's made a comeback in Seagrave Teacher Gully? Remember Dave Bartell? Yes, I do. He's, he's made a comeback. You haven't seen him in the last few weeks. Not sure if he's still playing, but he's certainly played a couple of games. Probably done a heavy like. Today. It's like another silly old bastard that we yeah. know. That another well, good, good Saints champion he was. I think he won about four or five best in yep. Ferris. But I haven't seen him, but we're not sure. We could follow that up and presume. So. Well, it's a job for the... Uh, for the, the producer, producer as he something. stands up behind the camera with the belly hanging out the bottom oh, of the shirt. Yet. I don't know what's worse. The fact that he's done that here at the Portland Hotel or the fact that I'm half hard. I don't know what's worse. But anyway, uh, moving on to this week's this week's games. Yes. You've missed me, haven't you? Oh, hey, have just been too always long. a little bit of controversy when yeah. I'm around. Hey? Especially the footy forum. I don't know. Let's not talk, oh, talk about the footy <laughs> forum. She misses me. Anyway, oh. uh, we're moving on to... What's he doing? Oh, no, I'm not looking. I'm looking. At the, they're looking here. I'm scratching away there. Okay. Houghton District <laughs> versus Fringe University. So Houghton District. Houghton Noble. Houghton Noble. They are sitting seventh at the moment. They are two games behind equal fifth. So Houghton. I think Houghton. Oh, yeah. Now Fringe University. They're um, no, they're going terrible. Don't. Houghton District. <laughs> Darcy. You know, you, it's, if it's a dog shit, and you try to polish oh, it. I know. We can, right. We're going to try and polish it. And I do not say that I love the boards at uni. I think they're doing a great job, but. Um, Houghton are going to be way too strong here, Correct. especially at home. I think um, Houghton by 
Long way to travel. Yeah. Anyway, so Houghton, Houghton by ten dollars plus. Yep. Uh, O'Sullivan's Beach, Lonsdale taking on Mawson Lakes. Now that's a travel on. Yeah, it is. Travel yes, down at Lonsdale School there. The Lonsdale Oval. Yeah. How much? How much by Lonnie's? Uh, that will be another fifteen goals, I reckon. Oh, maybe Mawson Lakes. They're sitting six, just out of five there. So. I'd probably say 10 goals. 10 goals? Yeah, yeah. Lonnie's a better one. Brittany to kick another six for yeah. me as well. Mitchell Park taking on Golden Grove. Mitchell Park over? Uh, Golden Grove by a long shot. Even though Golden Grove are struggling, I still think they're going to win by a couple of goals. I'm going to pick the Parkers, mate. I am going to Okay. I'm going to pick the Parkers, I reckon. I reckon they might get the job done this week. I reckon the Parkers by 11 points. There we go. I'll lay it all out in the line. Central so United taking on Marion, that's another <laughs> fairly decent Fair journey. Income, isn't it, Josh? It's, uh, Goodness, it's Uber round. Central United, <laughs> look, I think uh, look, Marion, they are cruising very nice at the moment. It's going to be set Marion by 10 goals. No. Oh. No, 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 no. They've never been to Moffin Reserve, and I'll tell you what, that is a place to go and play footy. You've never been there either. Haven't you? Oh. Never been to Units by under 10 points. There you oh, go. It's a shock. No. What are you saying? Producer? He's trying to sugarcoat. He's telling me off the sugar cane. Oh, and he comes and sugar cane. They're, gonna, they're keeping their finals hopes alive. Oh, they have got that's... something laying on the line. They I'm are... telling you right now. One game out of the five. They game. are. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, Not I don't bloody listen to me, do you? Anyway. Thank you, producer. Yep. He's, he's awake. Yeah, nice. um, <laughs> yeah. So for me, yeah, units by under under a goal. Okay. Last game. St. Paul's staying on Tetri Gully probably. This will be match of the round. Match of the round. Yep, so look, I'm going forward. Look, I'm still going for Teacher Gully. I think there's just, just no, slightly... No, mate. Yeah, Teacher Gully for me. Oh, they're just coming good now. So Paul's for me. Dave Bartell will come back in. We've got a few, few fires. Jeez, I tell you, I haven't missed you. Honestly. I haven't, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even though I do see every Sunday. No, anyway. exactly. Can't get away from them now. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's uh, been Division 7 for this week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all again soon. See you later.